In part one, chapter seven of Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart, three years have passed, and in Okonkwo's household, Ikemafuna has become like an older brother to Nuoye. Okonkwo is pleased by the influence Ikemafuna has on Nuoye, whom he wants to grow into a tough young man capable of ruling his father's household. Nuoye seeks to prove himself and grumbles about women when they ask him to do chores. Okonkwo is proud of this attitude because a male clan member is not really a man if he doesn't control women and children with an iron fist. In his hut, Okonkwo tells the boys violent, bloody stories. Nuoye prefers his mother's stories, which have a moral, but he stays with his father to please him. While Okonkwo and the boys are working together, locusts descend and settle everywhere. Locusts only rarely appear, and they're considered a delicacy. As Eudu, the old warrior and orator, stops by as Okonkwo and the boys are eating locusts. He privately tells Okonkwo that the oracle has ordered the clan to kill Ikemafuna, and he cautions Okonkwo not to play a role in this death, because the boy calls you his father. Okonkwo tells Ikemafuna he's being taken home. When Nwoye cries at the news, his father beats him. Walking through the forest with Okonkwo and the clansmen, Ikemafuna feels uneasy, but he's comforted by the fact that Okonkwo is there. When the men begin to cut him down with their machetes, he calls out to Okonkwo, who goes to him and strikes the final blow. Upon Okonkwo's return home, his family realizes what has happened and Nwoye is devastated. Thinking about Ikemafuna's fate, he recalls a memory of the evil forest. He heard the cry of twins who were left in the forest to die, and something inside him had given way. Okonkwo's return from Ikemafuna's execution gives Nwoye the same feeling. This chapter opens with the positive change that Ikemafuna's presence has caused in Okonkwo's family. Ikemafuna has become a role model for Nwoye in a way that Okonkwo has never been, and his influence helps the younger boy mature. We see also that Nwoye has become more masculine. When locusts appear in chapter seven, it is as though a shadow fell on the world and the sun seemed hidden behind a thick cloud. The shadow of the locusts evokes a metaphor for European colonialism. There's a contrast here between the darkness that announces their arrival and the joy people have in seeing and eating them. Okonkwo's fear of being viewed as weak forces him into action he regrets, participating in Ikemafuna's murder. Earlier in the novel, Ikemafuna was described as a sacrifice and ill-fated. That foreshadowing now comes to pass. Despite not being able to look when the initial blow is struck, Okonkwo strikes the final blow because he is afraid of being thought weak. His true weakness and excessive concern with how others see him overrides his affection for his adopted son. The chapter ends on this ominous note of betrayal and hints at deeper change to come in Nuoye.